Hi, hello everyone. This is your educator, your tutor, your friend, Sanjay Kumar Vishakarma. I welcome you all to yet another session of WeLearning. WeLearning is a platform which focuses on providing right to quality education for all. Do watch this session if you like it. Do press the like button and share it with your other friends who are preparing for their boards and competition as well. Subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you never miss any update from us. Okay? You can also visit our website www.we-learning.in you will be getting all these sessions there along with that you will be getting lecture notes also so do check it out okay now without any delay let's get started with today's session we were doing electricity right okay current electricity lecture number four and we were talking about temperature dependence of resistivity now see we know this since class 10th that resistivity is something which is depending on temperature when you studied in your 10th standard factors affecting the resistance in the chapter electricity right so there the teacher told that resistance depends on resistivity correct and some teachers do tell that resistivity is something which depends on temperature so if we change the temperature the resistivity changes and the resistance also changes all right so till now we just knew it we had this information now we'll be seeing in 12th standard we'll be seeing in detail that if we change the temperature if the temperature is rising or the temperature is decreasing how it affects the resistivity all right if the temperature changes uh, 10 degrees celsius how will it affect the resistivity fine let us see so now temperature dependence of resistivity first let's write the formula for uh, resistivity okay Aja, before that see if i write here resistance still it is correct okay temperature dependence of resistivity or resistance we can write anything why it doesn't mean that resistivity and resistance both are same thing they are not same thing but their behavior their nature is same as the temperature changes okay how see resistance is equal to rho l by a correct if we are talking about one particular conductor, for that conductor length and area are same, area of cross section, correct? That means keeping this constant, keeping this constant, if we are making any change on this, the same change will happen to this, right? If it is increasing, this will increase, if it is decreasing, this will decrease. So if the temperature is changing, that is affecting this. And the same effect will be seen in this. So we can study it as temperature dependence of resistivity or some places it will be written temperature dependence of resistance. Okay. Now what is the formula for resistance? Don't tell V by I because we are not <coughs> putting any battery or anything around the conductor. We are just seeing, uh, we are just talking about the material. Alright. So if I want that particular formula that will be rho L by A. If I want to write the bigger formula which we derived in the last session that was ML upon N E square tau A, correct? ML square upon N E square tau A. Now, if you see all these things, M is mass of electron, correct? L is length of conductor. N, number of electrons per unit volume, number of free electrons per unit volume, number of free electrons per, per unit volume means per meter cube or let us write per unit volume also. per unit volume, correct, what is E? charge on one electron tau average relaxation time this is just a revision of last session average relaxation time correct i hope you remember what is relaxation time the time taken between Two collisions right electron will be traveling some kernels will be there on its way so time taken between two collisions is relaxation time and if i see for all the electrons on an average it will be average relaxation time then a is area of cross section of the conductor right
So I hope you know this formula and you know what each and everything denotes. Fine. Now, if I want to uh, write rho, we know that resistance is equal to rho L by A. So comparing these two L by A, L by A, if I remove, rho will be M upon N E square tau. Rho is M upon N E square tau. Correct? Just note it down. This is just a revision of the last session. Where I have told the formula for resistance and resistivity. So seeing by, by looking at these two formulas, we will see that if the temperature changes, how these will be affected. Okay. Now, let's see for conductors. First, we will talk about conductors. So now, <coughs> first let us write the formula. Resistivity is M upon N E square tau. And resistance is M L upon N E square tau A. Correct? Rho is m upon n e square tau, resistance is m l upon n e square tau a. Now, if I change the temperature, let's say, this is temperature. If I, rise, if I raise the temperature, what will happen? See here, look at this formula. Do you think on changing the temperature or increasing the temperature, the mass will be increased or decreased? Will there be any change in the mass? No, right? Okay. Will there be any change in the... E, the value of charge on one electron? No, right? That is always constant. So these two things will remain constant. The, on, the change will only be either in N or in tau. Right? The change will be in N and tau. So now, let us see what change will happen in N and tau. See, <clears throat> when the temperature increases, the electrons will get energy. The, the electrons which are already free, the free electrons will get energy. Once they will get the energy, their vibration will increase, right? Vibration increases. Correct? Kinetic energy they have got, right? Now, vibration increases means collision will increase. Collision increases. Correct? If the collision is increasing, what does this mean? The average relaxation time will decrease, right? Suppose this is an electron, there are two different kernels. Now this was first colliding like this, right? Now it is colliding more. That means the time of collision decreased, correct? See, understand this way. First, they were going like this. Now they got the energy. Now they are going like this. So if they are doing it fast, the time between both the collisions reduced because their speed is increased, correct? So here, tau will decrease. Temperature is increasing because of which tau is decreasing. And if tau is decreasing, resistivity will increase because tau is in denominator, inversely proportional. So that means resistivity will increase, correct? Now, look here. What is the effect on N? Number of free electrons, right? The electrons which are not free, which are there in the outer shell of the atoms, now they are also getting energy, right? So some more electrons will become free. Ionization energy, when the, when the temperature is increasing, electrons are receiving ionization energy. So electrons will be Or let's say electrons will be will receive ionization energy because of which what will happen the electrons which are there on the outer shell of the atom first which was there on the outermost shell it anyways came out those are the free electrons, right? Now, the electrons which are there in the second shell from the outside, they are also getting energy. More electrons will get free. 
right n will increase n will increase so if n is increasing resistivity will decrease again it is inversely proportional right so if n is increasing resistivity will decrease correct understand now when when the temperature is increasing tau is decreasing because of which resistivity is increasing when temperature is increased tau is decreasing because of which resistivity is increasing and at the same time n is increasing because of which resistivity is decreasing two opposite things are happening so overall net will the resistivity increase or decrease how will we get to know overall will the resistivity will increase or decrease we will get to know by what kind of material we are dealing with all right right now we are talking about conductors understand among these two there will be one which will be significant there will be one which will be not so much significant right so now if this is significant more then that means overall resistivity will increase if this is significant more that means overall resistivity will decrease let's see for conductors for conductors number of free electrons per unit volume free electrons per unit volume free electrons per meter cube are around 10 power 29 at room temperature at room temperature fine this is an approximate data shall i write with a different color okay this is an approximate data 10 power 29 at room temperature now if I increase the temperature, no doubt, N will increase. But since the value was already very high, its significance will not be much. It will be very insignificant. The increase will be very insignificant. Did you understand? Okay, understand this way. Suppose in a room, there is one person. Alright. If I add nine more people in the room, now there are total ten people. Compared to the previous situation, number of people in the room increased 10 times. It's a significant increase. Correct? Now, suppose in a room there are 1000 people. Again, the same number of people I'm adding. I have added 9 more people. The total number of people in the room is 1009. Correct? Approximately, if you see, it is nearly 1000 only. That means if you see the increase, it is not that much significant, correct? In the first case, it became 10 times, whereas in the second case, it does not create any impact. 1000 or 1009 or 1010 doesn't matter much, correct? The same thing here, since already the number of electrons are very high, if some electrons increase also, it doesn't make very big impact. So this thing will remain insignificant. This thing will be insignificant. Here I write this in. This thing comparing if you compare these two this will be insignificant this will be having more significance because of which resistivity will increase okay the effect of this decrease in tau will be more all right so if the temperature is increased resistivity will increase that means resistance will also increase okay you can write all right so now for conductors If temperature 
is increased resistivity or resistance increases clear now if i plot the graph for resistance or resistivity versus temperature that how this graph will be if the temperature is increasing how this row will increase let me tell you see by the formula only <coughs> that is inversely proportional correct i mean this this we have got experimentally it will be like this for conductors it is increasing that we have already got from the formula right that this will increase how it will increase it is like this make it properly okay so first it is increasing like this and then it will be a straight line later on for copper if i talk about so for different conductors it will be a different line the curve will be here or somewhere here or it will be something like this or it will be something like this for different different conductors the lines will be different but overall for conductors it will go like this one all right overall for the conductors it will go like this only done okay you can write r or rho versus temperature next for semiconductors for semiconductors again let's see what will happen we know that if the temperature is increased let me write the formula also rho is equal to m upon n e square tau r is equal to m l upon n e square tau a if the temperature is increasing again two things are happening what is happening one n is increasing next tau is decreasing if this is increasing that means rho will decrease if this is decreasing that means rho will increase now here again i told you which will be significant will depend on the kind of material substance we are using this time it is semiconductors semiconductors if you see <coughs> number of free electrons per unit volume are negligible right semiconductors are nothing but insulators then we add some impurities in that because of those impurities some uh, charge carriers come there right because of which then we increase the by increasing the temperature conductivity also increases so this and all you will see when you will be seeing the last chapter okay as of now understand for semiconductors number because they are not conductors number of free electrons free electrons per meter cube are negligible they are there but are negligible or insignificant at room temperature clear so if we raise the temperature number of free electrons will increase and this time here in this case this will be more significant again it is seen experimentally fine it is seen experimentally if you consider the same example what i gave if one person is there in the room if i am putting nine more people it is 10 people now it is 10 times more correct so the same thing here again let's say there are one or two electrons very negligible very less electrons if some electrons are adding it's a significant increase clear so now that means this time this will be insignificant this time that will be insignificant this value as the temperature is increasing this value will increase a lot a lot of free electrons will come up which will take part in the conductivity clear for semiconductors it is told now see here if you see on increasing the temperature resistivity decreases correct on increasing the temperature resistivity decreases for semiconductors it is told if you increase the temperature conductivity will increase 
Resistivity is decreasing means they are becoming conductors. Correct? Not fully conductors. But they are becoming conductors once we are increasing the temperature. Alright? This will be significant. Rho will increase. If you want, you can note down. On increasing the temperature, resistivity decreases or you can write conductivity increases anyways we are talking about resistivity so write resistivity decreases this is the reason for that okay see understand everything whatever we are studying first it is proved experimentally then to satisfy our brain our logics we are showing this okay so by this also it is proper right we are satisfied yes because of this particular reason resistivity is decreasing but first it was seen experimentally all right now so now for this if i want to make the graph r or rho versus temperature for semiconductors okay how this will be first semiconductors i told the resistivity will be very high because they do not conduct later on on adding the impurities they become semiconductors semiconducting as a layman if you see semiconducting correct so first if they are not conducting that means the resistivity is very high later on it starts decreasing and it starts it decreases as in as the temperature increases it's, it decreases as the temperature increases. Clear? Next. For alloys such as nichrome, manganin, constant and etc. Etc means alloys which show similar behavior. Okay, I already told what is this alloy, what is this alloy. Fine alloy made from nickel, chromium, manganese, iron. Alloy made from manganese, nickel, copper. Correct. So now, here what is seen experimentally again I am telling you, if the temperature is increased or decreased, no change in the resistivity. Clear? Theoretically, we are telling no change, but experimentally it is seen a bit very slight change because anyways they are conductors only they conduct right but the material is such where on increasing or decreasing the temperature there is no change or very slight change in the resistivity so how we can satisfy our brain again our logics again how we can satisfy is n is increasing again i know if the temperature is increased n will increase comma tau will decrease correct if this will happen resistivity will decrease if this will happen resistivity will increase what we understand from this is how much ever this is decreasing the resistivity because of this the resistivity is increasing by the same rate clear because of this resistivity will decrease because of this resistivity will increase so how much it is decreasing because of this the same it is increasing because of this this so nearly it is same only it remains constant only clear so it neither decreases nor increases both are significant in this case we can understand that way all right just for your understanding clear if i want to write the graph for this some resistivity initially they will be having it is it is constant right so it has to be like this correct but again, as I am telling you, experimentally what it is shown, a bit slight change happens. Okay. That means it will be somewhat like this. It's going up. Slight change. Obviously, they are conductors. So, slightly on increasing the temperature, it will increase. Very slightly. Done. If I want, you can write R or rho versus temperature 
also temperature can be in degree celsius also not a problem fine for these alloys i hope you understood we discussed how resistivity is affecting in conductors as the temperature is changing how is it happening in semiconductors and how is it happening in certain alloys okay if i talk about insulators it doesn't happen there fine resistivity doesn't change there because they are insulators next temperature coefficient of resistance or resistivity very important this is something based on which you will get numericals on exam okay now theoretically we understood but <coughs> physics is all about numericals right by how much increase in temperature how much resistivity will increase correct we should learn to calculate that particular thing now let us learn see suppose initially some conductor is there at temperature t conductor semiconductor any material it is there at temperature t fine if we increase the temperature from t to t plus dt a bit temperature we have increased okay now temperature increase or decrease we don't know it is basically change in temperature if dt is negative that means temperature is decrease if dt is positive that means temperature is increased so this is basically temperature is changed from t to t plus dt all right so while doing this initially let's say the resistance was r naught on changing the temperature dt the resistance also changed from r naught to r naught plus dr clear again whether the resistance is increasing or decreasing we don't know dr can be positive also dr can be negative also it is just change in resistance okay fine so when the temperature is changed from t to t plus dt resistance is changing from r naught to r plus dr okay experimentally okay i'll write again it was deleted by mistake experimentally what is seen is the change in resistance is directly proportional to the change in temperature clear second the change in resistance is directly proportional to the initial resistance of the conductor or any material all right what does this mean if initially the temperature the resistance is high the change in resistance will also be more if the resistance is low the change in resistance will be slow only clear the change in resistance will be low only i hope you got it so it is also depending on the change in temperature as well as it is proportional to the initial resistance also so overall if i see this is dr is directly proportional to r not dt correct from here i can write dr is equal to proportionality constant here it is alpha r not dt alpha r not dt very very important formula this formula is not there in your ncrt they have directly given one formula but this formula is important for the people who are preparing for their competition all right why because see this alpha the constant what has come up this is constant 99% of the time in your boards in your ncrt whatever questions whatever examples are given in all those questions this alpha is constant 99% of the times alpha will be constant clear so the formula which is given in your book is keeping this alpha constant okay we'll derive after this we'll derive but suppose you are sitting in your je advanced right it is not sure that this alpha will be constant maybe this alpha can be dependent on t alpha is equal to t square plus t 
plus some something or t square plus t or alpha is equal to t cube plus t anything alpha can be dependent on t in i mean generally okay experimentally also it is seen that alpha is dependent on temperature okay as the temperature is increasing alpha is changing but that change is very small very less because of which 99 percent of the times we keep this alpha constant until and unless it is given in the question that alpha is variable we will keep alpha constant okay but experimentally it is seen that alpha is also depending on temperature all right okay now keeping alpha constant Let us see this again. dr is equal to alpha r naught dt. We will integrate both the sides. Since alpha is constant, this alpha can be taken out of the integration. This integration is from r initial to r final. This is from t initial to t final. Clear? So this will be r final minus r naught r initial is equal to if i integrate it this will be r r final minus r naught okay this will be alpha or let me write it like this so integrating we'll get r limits are r naught to r f that is equal to alpha r naught is a constant okay r naught will also come out it is a constant dt will be t and the limits are t initial to t final clear so this will be r final minus r initial is equal to alpha r naught t final minus t initial correct this t final minus t initial i can write as delta t not a problem fine this will be r final is equal to r naught if i take it that side plus alpha r naught delta t this i have written as delta t so this will be r final is equal to r naught common 1 plus alpha delta t this formula again this formula is also not given in your book you are, in your book it is given in terms of resistivity right you can convert this in terms of resistivity also in place of r you can write rho f in place of r naught you can write rho naught because as i told on changing the temperature the behavior is similar or if you want to derive what you can do is you can write rho final l by a correct if i want to substitute this r in terms of rho rf r is rho l by a so rf will be rho final l by a that is equal to rho naught l by a conductor is same so l by a will be same correct into 1 plus alpha delta t see l by a l by a will be cancelled so this will be rho final is equal to rho naught 1 plus alpha delta t. This formula is given in your book. But remember this one. I mean both are same. Only you have to replace r with rho. Fine. Note it down. Not it down. Clear? Now, but the people who are again preparing for competition, I would recommend note this one. Why? Because suppose in your exam, as I told, in your competition exam, if alpha is not constant, here it will not come out. Inside, suppose alpha is, let's say, t square. Okay? So, t square will be there and you can integrate t square dt. Correct? t cube by 3. So that way and then you can substitute also t final cube minus t initial cube by entire by 3 correct. So now if you remember this way 
you can get the formula easily okay people for boards they can remember this form clear now see here no doubt this l and a some people would be thinking if the temperature is changing length will also change area of cross section will also change they are conductors they are anyways metals they will expand i studied in 11th standard correct that expansion will happen okay this will also expand this will also expand overall it will cross cancel each other okay or experimentally also it is seen they do not impact much fine everything is taken into consideration then only we have got this formula so don't worry about that clear okay now alpha if i want to write the formula for alpha or if you want to remember for alpha from here you can remember see here r final this r not or from here alpha is equal to r final minus r not upon r not upon delta r not delta t correct r final minus r not upon r not delta t this is the formula for the temperature coefficient alpha is temperature coefficient the unit what will be the unit unit of alpha is either you can write per degree celsius degree celsius power minus one or you can write per kelvin why you can write any why you can write any because here we are talking about change in temperature clear the change in temperature whether <coughs> two temperatures are given in degree celsius if you see the change or two temperatures are given in kelvin if you see the change it will be same only right so that's why either you can write per degree celsius or you can write per kelvin all right now let's see certain questions concept is over concept was that much now we'll see some questions to clarify our concept better okay the resistance of the bulk filament is 100 ohm at a temperature of 100 degrees celsius so what they are telling is resistance initial resistance they are telling 100 ohm let us first write the data and initial temperature they are telling 100 degrees celsius this resistance belongs to this temperature correct its temperature coefficient alpha is given to be 0 0.005 per degree celsius okay per degree celsius at what temperature will it resist will its resistance become 200 ohm so now final resistance is given 200 ohm what we have to find out is final temperature at what temperature will the resistance be 200 ohm correct how to do this very simple very simple just put it in the formula you'll get the answer see r final is equal to r naught 1 plus alpha delta t correct delta t is t final minus t initial for now let us write it separate separate okay here first we'll find delta t from here so this will be r final is 200 that is equal to r naught is 100 1 plus alpha 0 0.005 delta t Two, this 0 0 will be cancelled 2 is equal to 1 plus 0 0.005 delta t 1 will come this side 2 minus 1 is 1 so 1 is equal to 0 0.005 delta t this will be 1 is equal to 0 0.005 delta t from here delta t is equal to 1 upon 0 0.005 that is how much this will be 1000 upon 5 
दैट इज टू हंड्रेड करेक्ट टू हंड्रेड डिग्री सेल्सियस alpha was given in per degree celsius initial temperature is in degree celsius so now delta t is t final minus t initial that is equal to 200 how much is t final t final we have to take out t initial is 100 degree celsius correct so that is t final is equal to 300 degree celsius see this is 100 correct So T final is three hundred degrees Celsius. Easy. No doubt. <clears throat> Now next, the voltage V and current I graphs of for a conductor at two different temperatures is T one and T two. So this is V versus I graph. Okay. For different temperatures, so this is one V versus I graph for temperature T1. This is one V versus I graph for temperature T2. The relation between T1 and T2 is very simple. Try it on your own. Which option will be the correct one? I hope some people have got the answer. See here, V versus I. If I want to find the slope of V versus I graph, what was the slope of V versus I graph? Resistance. Correct. slope of v versus i that will be v by i and that is equal to resistance correct so if you see this particular slope slope 1 will be r1 slope 2 will be r2 correct this slope is more than this since slope 1 is greater than slope 2 therefore r1 is greater than r2 correct so if r1 is greater than if nothing is given we are talking about conductor only okay r1 is greater than r2 so in conductors if the temperature is more resistance is more if the temperature is less resistance is less what does this mean t1 is greater than t2 this is the answer clear okay until and unless it is mentioned semiconductors do not assume it is semiconductors your entire electricity is based on conductors okay semiconductors is the last chapter <clears throat> next and they have already given for a conductor okay clear next the resistance of a platinum wire is 5 ohm this is your ncert question the resistance of a platinum wire is 5 ohm at ice point what does this mean ice point means 0 degree celsius correct so now we are given with r not that is 5 ohm and t initial is given as 0 degree celsius you need to learn to understand it from the statement only what does it mean this is and 5.23 ohm at steam point that means final resistance is given as 5.23 ohm t final is equal to 100 degree celsius clear or instead of writing final and all you can just write like this r1 is given as this t1 is given as this r2 is given as this t2 is given as this learn this way okay so now when the wire is inserted in hot bath the resistance of wire is this so now that wire they have taken they know this much data about that wire then they took that wire and they placed it in a hot bath once they took it out from there they saw that the resistance has become 5.795 so now we have to calculate the temperature of the bath all right we'll calculate before that if you see this one what is the thing which is missing we know initial resistance we know final resistance we know delta t also correct t2 minus t1 
If you see the formula, what is missing? Alpha. R final is equal to R initial into 1 plus alpha delta t. Correct? Alpha is missing. Let's find out alpha. Because if I want to know this temperature of the final one, I need to know alpha. Correct? So alpha is equal to R final minus R initial R2 minus R1 upon R1 delta t. Correct? See here. We have already derived this formula. R final minus R initial upon R initial delta t. That formula we are going to use. So that is equal to R2 is 5.23 minus this is 5 divided by 5 delta t. What is delta t? 100 minus 0. 100 minus 0 is 100 into 100 minus 0. Let me write like this. So this will be 0 0.23 upon 500. I hope you are able to see this. 0 0.23 upon 500. All right. Let it be written this way only. Okay. Alpha is this. I can write per degree Celsius. Now, we have to find the temperature. This resistance is given. Let's say final resistance is given. Or let's say R3 is given. For R3, we need to find T3. Correct? 5.5. 795. So we need to find T3 for this. That at which temperature this resistance is there. R3 will be equal to final resistance is equal to initial resistance. Now see you can take any resistance as initial resistance. Because you know the temperature also. In delta T whatever resistance you are putting as initial resistance. That temperature only you will take. Correct? So you can take this also. You can take this also. I will take this. R1. It becomes easy also because it is 0. So delta T and T3 will be same. Correct? So this is R3 is equal to R1 1 plus alpha delta T. Delta T means T3 minus T1. Whatever I am taking this, this will be corresponding to that. Correct? R3 is given as 5.795 that is equal to R1 is given to be 5 1 plus alpha we have taken out 0 0.23 upon 500 0 0.23 upon 500 delta T T1 is 0 so T3 minus 0 is T3 So from here, if I take this 5 and multiply inside, this will be 5 plus here also it will multiply 0 0.23 upon 100, correct? So this will be 5.795 is equal to 5 plus. 5 into this 5 and this 5 will be cancelled 0 0.23 upon 100 into T3. This 5 will come here, subtract. This will be 0 0.795 is equal to 0 0.23 upon 100 T3. This 100 will come multiply here. 79.5 or directly I can write T3 is equal to 79.5 divided by 0 0.23. Just do the calculation. How much will it be? 79.5 divided by 0 0.23. Two, three. I'll see. I'll take the calculator. Seventy nine point five divided by point two three. Three forty five point six five. Correct. Three forty five point six five degrees Celsius. This is the temperature of the bath. Easy. Try it on your own. Alright. Next. <clears throat> Again, this is a good question. I want every one of you to first try, then only look at the solution. 
it is good also and very easy also if you know the concept if you go logically it is very easy what is written find the relation between rho 1 alpha 1 comma rho 2 alpha 2 such that resistance of the combination is temperature independent temperature independent means when we are changing the temperature still the net resistance of this entire thing doesn't change clear see here this entire thing if you see first this rod is there then this rod is there the length is l area of cross section of for this and this will be same only see here correct now <clears throat> this and this if you see they are connected in series this end is there then this end is there then the end this end of this rod is connected by this end of this rod both rods are connected in series right so if they are connected in series net resistance okay if i want to write r1 resistance of this one how much will it be rho 1 l by a if i take the area as a for this for this the area of both is same if you see this see here they are in one line okay rho 1 l by a r2 rho 2 l by a net resistance since they are in series r is equal to r1 plus r2 that is equal to rho 1 l by a plus rho 2 l by a so i can write this as rho 1 plus rho 2 l by a correct this is net resistance now on changing the temperature let's say this particular thing is at temperature t1 at t1 at t2 some other temperature let's say resistance is changed to r dash okay r1 is changed to r1 dash that is rho 1 rho 1 dash l by a and r2 dash will be rho 2 dash l by a correct so r net r dash will be r1 dash plus r2 dash that is equal to rho 1 dash plus rho 2 dash l by a directly i am writing one step <laughs> i have not written this one this will be r1 dash l by a plus r2 dash l by a so total it will be r1 dash plus r uh, rho 1 dash plus rho 2 dash into l by a correct r dash now what they are telling is it is temperature independent that means this resistance and this resistance should be same since the combination is temperature independent r dash r is equal to r dash that means rho 1 plus rho 2 l by a is equal to rho 1 dash plus rho 2 dash l by a l by a is same always we can cancel those things right so this will be rho 1 plus rho 2 is equal to rho 1 dash plus rho 2 dash Achha, rho 1 dash and rho 2 dash is not there in the question we have assumed it right that this is the change resistivity this is the change resistivity how the resistivity will change if the temperature is changing this will become rho 1 into 1 plus alpha delta t rho 1 into 1 plus alpha 1 delta t delta t means t2 minus t1 right this rho 1 dash will be rho 1 into 1 plus alpha 1 delta t plus rho 2 dash will be rho 2 into 1 plus alpha 2 delta t correct alpha 1 alpha 2 are given now see here this rho 1 will multiply here go inside rho 1 plus rho 1 alpha delta t rho 2 plus rho 2 alpha 2 delta t so rho 1 plus rho 2 will come right this will be 
रो वन प्लस रो वन एल्फा वन डेल्टा टी प्लस रो टू प्लस रो टू एल्फा टू डेल्टा टी करेक्ट दट इज रो वन प्लस रो टू ना फ्रॉम शेयर इफ यू सी दिस रो वन एंड दिस रो वन विल बी कैंसिल this row 2 and this row 2 will be cancelled correct this row 1 will come here subtract and become zero this row 2 will come here subtract and become zero row 1 alpha 1 delta t plus row 2 alpha 2 delta t is equal to zero so row 1 alpha 1 delta t plus row 2 alpha 2 delta t is equal to zero taking delta t common it will be rho 1 alpha 1 plus rho 2 alpha 2 delta t is equal to 0 correct see here rho 1 alpha 1 plus rho 2 alpha 2 into delta t is equal to 0 delta t is not 0 because we have taken two different temperatures t2 and t1 if delta t is not 0 what does this mean this is 0 correct so our final relation from here since delta t is not zero delta t is not zero correct so from here we can say rho 1 alpha 1 plus rho 2 alpha 2 is equal to zero this is our answer what they asked is find the relation between them this is the relation rho 1 alpha 1 plus rho 2 alpha 2 is equal to 0 or you can write rho 1 alpha 1 is equal to minus rho 2 alpha 2 i hope you got it very easy it was if you go concept by concept it is very easy all right understood okay in this session it was only this much in the next session we'll be seeing electrical energy and power and we'll be seeing some good questions on this okay i hope you understood to the uh, you understood today's session i hope you liked today's session if you like today's session do press the like button share it with your other friends who are preparing for their boards and competition as well all right subscribe to our channel and do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you never miss any update from us and do not forget to visit our website www.v-learning.in all these sessions you will be getting there along with that you will be getting lecture notes also okay we'll meet up in the next session till then keep learning from v learning all the best